Good day traders and welcome back to the Forex Ball Trading Academy. Today we will be looking at the pound against the New Zealand dollar on the one hour chart. So basically we're looking at the medium to short term price action. But before we get started I would like to remind you that information in this video is for educational purpose only should not be considered as the financial advice. Guys don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. So let's get started. What we have on the pound New Zealand dollar is break above the previously made high which could be resulting in the continuation of the upside move. As can be seen the downtrend trend line got broken under the strong buying pressure and it got broken together with the moving averages which is 50 simple and 50 exponential moving average. So after that the price has been rising and staying within the ascending channel and as can be seen on the 14th of January, there was a clean rejection of the bottom of the channel. Now prior to that, we can see that there was the rejection of both moving averages, 50 simple and 50 exponential. And yet again, we had attempt to break lower. We have reached the low at 1.8905, almost tested the psychological level at 189. And this spike resulted in a move to the upside. So we spiked down, we failed to break below the, the key support, which now we can see there is a triple bottom, after which price produced a new higher high. And there was the break above the downtrend trend line. There is a rejection as well of the 61.8 FIPS. As you can see price failed to break and close below. Then after that there was no break and close below the spike. Overall the 61.8 FIPS seems to be a valid support and especially after the breakout of the trend line buyers could be stepping in. Now we have the break above the trend line and right now the trend line is acting as the support along with the 50 simple moving average as well as exponential just few hours before that. So clearly this seems like a very very strong uptrend and it certainly has the good chance of continuation. Of course this is only as long as this low holds probably this area previously made low must remain respected as well. So as long as the price remains above this area, we should be seeing quite a nice move to the upside. In regards to the key resistances, what we have is several Fibonacci retracement levels based on this correction down where the trend line got rejected with the moving averages. Well, basically where the triple bottom formed. And we have three Fibonacci levels, the key levels to watch. Of course, the nearest one would be 127.2 at 19100 psychological level could be a strong resistance must be watched if there will be the break to the upside break above this level the next level is seen at 227.2 fibs which is 1.9241 then we have 327.2 fibs at 193.85 and finally 427.2 fibs at 195.26. In regards to the last one, if we go to the daily time frame, I have applied FIPS to this last move down and as we can see 78.6 FIPS corresponds precisely to the 427.2 FIPS. This is the reason I have taken the sequence of 27.2 FIPS rather than the 61.8 because of this clean correspondence. So these levels are important to watch but most importantly we need to break above the closest resistance and the psychological resistance where we formed the previous support then multiple times it got rejected. Well maybe price will reach it and then go down but if we're gonna break to the upside then clearly the trend should be extremely bullish for the pound New Zealand dollar. So that's on the pound New Zealand dollar currency pair. Now let's go through all previously made analysis starting Australians with Frank. This still remains a bullish trend. We're still waiting for this resistance to be tested at psychological level which is 0 0.7 and maybe corrections, maybe consolidation. It is possible. This is a more or less medium to long-term outlook. So waiting for this price to be tested. 
New Zealand Japanese yen. Well, today we had pound New Zealand dollar to the upside potential move which confirms this correction that might take place on the New Zealand against the Japanese yen. So we will invalidate this analysis for the New Zealand Japanese yen. Basically the price is above the point when we publish analysis, so no harm there. Closing the chart, moving to the Swiss franc Japanese yen. Expected there the move to the downside still could be a valid point because price remains above the key resistance overall corrective move down might take place to test the moving average and the Fibonacci support one of them. The euro Swiss franc also still valid as long as we hold this support near 1.0740 area then there could be this massive uptrend. The dollar Swiss franc also valid. The very interesting point is the clean rejection of 161.8 fibs which could be pushing price quite high so also valid to the upside at this point but this is only a correction long-term price is likely to remain bearish the euro dollar currently at the key support we can see this support is being respected and as long as the price is above the support area near 121.25 this will remain a bullish trend which could be pushing price towards this level at 126.54 the euro canadian dollar well we did break below this moving average and we did break below the recently made low overall i think the potential will remain to the upside as long as this low holds but i will have to invalidate it anyway because it went far too much although there is definitely a potential for the big growth on this pair so closing the chart moving on to the australian japanese yen we reached the first resistance now price could be moving down or even reversing so here we're just watching whether the price will remain bullish or not so as long as higher highs and higher lows are produced it's a bullish trend but as we can see now this could have been an ABC correction which now can result in a downtrend so we had a break below this uptrend trend line and maybe we will now see further decline and this could be one two three four and five so five waves down resulting in a price decline towards the support near 79.14 so i will close the chart guys for now because we reached the first resistance and now it's unclear it's most likely will correct further to the downside the euro japanese yen is still at the at the resistance area and we can see this correction was expected so as long as this support area holds especially the daily closing price will remain above 125.68 this will be a bullish trend if this will get broken it will get invalidated but still we'll see how it goes but as i said this is a dangerous now place for the japanese yen pairs because there are some contradictions and uh, we need to watch them but daily close has to stay above this previously made low in order for the trend to remain bullish the dollar canadian this is definitely still a bullish case because we had not managed to close on the daily time frame before the previously made low and therefore the price is still has this potential for the corrective move to the upside previously we had the rejection of the moving averages and this was the reason for this decline yet again so still is a bullish case for the dollar canadian we will continue on following but as long as this low holds if 126.22 is broken definitely will get invalidated and there will be further selling pressure pound swiss franc along with the pound the new zealand dollar this remains bullish most likely it will be the pound feeling strong so i do think there is this fast upside potential well maybe price even will get towards the second target quite fast so definitely a valid analysis waiting to see whether the price will correct towards the trend line or not but as it seems the trend is bullish and is likely to continue throughout this and next week new zealand canadian dollar on this chart we approach the trend line so there could be a rejection or price could be breaking lower as long as this trend line holds this will remain a bullish trend but if there will be daily break and close below 0.1993 then it will get invalidated so far it looks bullish 
but who wins i'm not sure whether new zealand dollar or canadian dollar they both seems to be struggling against other major currencies so that's it guys for today we hope you enjoy the pound against new zealand dollar analysis and if you did of course click the like button subscribe to our channel not to miss any of the following videos and we will see you very soon with new analysis take care and we wish you profits